Hare Krishna. I uh, just recently had a conversation with a very good friend of mine and a very intimate disciple of Srila Prabhupada. Uh, his name is His Holiness Giridhar Swami. And in our discussion, we were talking about disciples and spiritual masters and some of the problems that we're facing. And the conclusion that we came to was that actually the spiritual master of all of us is Srila Prabhupada. Uh, he's such a powerful acharya. And apart from other things, the bottom line is the spiritual master should have an effect on your life. He should be able to motivate you, inspire you, to renounce the material world and take shelter of Lord Krishna. So, of course, there are many disciples of Srila Prabhupada who are charismatic, not me, but there are others, and learned, not me, but I know of others, um, funny, that's me. <laughs> but uh, actually, Srila Prabhupada is, is, you know, he's just light years ahead of anybody. Nobody can compare. We can guide people as a monitor in the class, guides people. And, uh, uh, you know, that much we can do, and there, there's always Vaishnav uh, Sangha, there's always respect offered to elders, etc. But people really have to understand how important Srila Prabhupada is, how important his books are, how important his example, his austerity, and it, it lives on, it lives on in those who love him. Uh, a Vaishnava dies to live, and living spreads the holy name around. And if someone thinks he dies, then he's he has hellish intelligence. So it's good that you're having a festival uh, to remember Srila Prabhupada. It would be nice if we had the finances to have a festival every day. We can't on a minor scale. We do. <clears throat> we have Guru Pucha, and all day long we read from his books and talk about him. But, you know, someone, it's good to remember the dreamer, but if we forget about his dream, then we fail. Uh, someone said that about Martin Luther King. I have a dream. Well, yeah, he had a dream, but everybody's forgotten about it. Or Mahatma Gandhi. In India, everybody, you know, oh, the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, so great. Nobody follows him, but... So we should not do that with Srila Prabhupada. He left us instructions, and if we follow him heart and soul, then we'll actually follow him back to God. And all of us, whether we're novice or we're senior or whatever it is, but this is, we are Prabhupada Nugas in a very real sense, especially at the present moment when we're going through first and second generation, uh, you know, passing on the legacy. It's very important that the second generation gets this feeling. Uh, Srila Prabhupada, a very special person who can change your life. And so I'm, uh, we had a festival in Bombay. It was actually six days, seven days long, and five of it was about six, seven hours a day. Just hearing from all the old devotees about their memories of what it was like to be with Srila Prabhupada. It was the most ecstatic, wonderful experience. Everybody talks about it. Because, it, you know, we were all just novice devotees again. There was no one uncha, there was no one nicha, there was no one big, no one small. We were just servants of Srila Prabhupada. So I wish you all success and uh, all the to Srila Prabhupada.
Well, everything we have came from Srila Prabhupada. And here we are today. We brought to Yatra in New York. And every one of us take our inspiration from, from Prabhupada only. Um, this is the place where Prabhupada first went. This is where he experimented in the world. And this is where he uh, single-handedly started with nothing. And from here, now, we are people from all over the world. Now, I look here today and I see all kinds of people here for this Rati Yatra. They've come from very far. I've also come from far. I've come from Holland. Robert also went to, to Holland. Robert went to many countries all over the world. And with that, he changed our lives just by his wonderful Krishna consciousness and, and his books. So the formula of Krishna consciousness that he gave is very simple. And as it is said, Krishna consciousness is simple for the simple. Uh, Prabhupada's wonderful quality was that he did not compromise. But rather, he held up to a very simple basic standard for regulative principles. And 16 rounds, a minimum of 16 rounds. So these four regulative principles and 16 rounds are the, the basic formula for being on the spiritual platform. If we can follow that, then we are protected from the influence of Maya. With that, he offered a, a major support structure of temples, of devotees, of scriptures, to help us uh, to maintain these standards. Still, we see so many people struggling with these four regulative principles. And the reason is because we take it too much that we have to follow these principles, these principles, these principles, which means no in all directions. We can't eat what people everywhere are eating. We can't drink what they drink. We can't, uh, we can't partake in lotteries. We cannot uh, mix with the opposite sex. So like this, so many restrictions are there. Everyone in the world takes intoxication. So if one is simply focusing on these four regulated principles, then it becomes very difficult. But Prabhupada, although he came and gave these four regulated principles, his main thing was not to give the four regulated principles. His main thing was to give devotional service to Krishna. Uh, first devotional service to Krishna and then the four regulated principles follow behind. If we become absorbed in serving Krishna with as much as, as much as we can in the mood as Prabhupada did, always being absorbed in service to Krishna, then we can easily follow these principles also. So, there are many nice temples, many nice facilities which he created where there are many opportunities to serve, to serve the deities. Like today, it is the Jagannath Rati Yatra and we are serving Lord Jagannath. We all came actually to serve Lord Jagannath, to dance in front of the cart, to sing, to pull the cart, or others are here uh, in one of the stalls. Some have cooked all night. So much service has been done all for Lord Jagannath. The service to Lord Jagannath is what will give us the taste. Srila Prabhupada, when he visited the West for the last time, it was in London. And at that time, 
Srila Prabhupada met with the with many devotees for the last time and for some with the first time. And he met with a Sankirtan party, a group of book distributors. Because Prabhupada had said, this book distribution it gives me life. So he met with these book distributors and as they were seeing Prabhupada, they could see that Prabhupada was totally in the spiritual world. Sitting in front of Prabhupada was as if there was a wall in between them and the spiritual world and that they could see the effulgence of the spiritual world kind of coming over the wall and they could see that Prabhupada was on the other side of that wall. Because Prabhupada was always in the spiritual world, always on the platform of ecstasy. So the spirit of the spiritual world is the constant glorification of Krishna and his devotees. Prabhupada came to give the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, which is that process of constantly glorifying Krishna. And if we simply chant again and again this Mala Mantra in the spirit of glorifying Krishna, then we'll, be, we'll become very close to Prabhupada. In New Vrindavan, when Prabhupada came, at that time, the road on the farm was very rough. It was called the Agasura Road. And it was difficult to walk there. So the devotees, they carried Prabhupada in a palanquin. It was evening time and they had torches and it was a wonderful parade. Prabhupada being carried, devotees chanting, torches. It was another world, out of the spiritual world. And one devotee thought, let me get very close to Prabhupada. I want to get closer to Prabhupada. But only when this devotee was next to Prabhupada, uh, then the realization came that actually I'm not close to Prabhupada at all. I'm still very far. So if you want to come close to Prabhupada, then it must be through the glorification of Krishna. The, the constant worship, the constant service, the constant glorification of Krishna. And that is the way to know Prabhupada. Okay. With that, I thank you very much. And I hope you will have a wonderful festival and attract the mercy of Prabhupada by your devotional service and by the chanting of the holy name, by wonderful kirtans. Prabhupada said, on the Sunday feasts, where the chanting of the Holy Name is going on and where Krishna Prasadam is being distributed, Lord Chaitanya is always present. Uh, so there's no doubt that not only Lord Chaitanya is present, but also Prabhupada is present. So I hope your festival will be a festival of wonderful hearing and chanting and glorification of the Lord. And Prabhupada will be there. It was my first, uh, first time when I saw the Prabhupada. First I heard his sound in Jaipur. In Jaipur. And uh, when I was in the, that time I was in my house and I heard the big sound of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So the sound, I heard the sound and I feel immediate that is sound coming like from a spiritual world or Vaikuntha Jagat. So I rushed from my house and I came out and I saw the Shil I don't know the he's a Prabhupada, but I saw a old sandy person and um, other many uh, foreigner, international devotees uh, surrounding him and they going through the road like this. Then after taking my shower, dressing up, then I went to on the marketplace and fortunately I got the table of the books of Srila Prabhupada. And from there I I bought a book. It was the Indian one rupee cost of that book, Beyond Birth and Death. And I was much interested to read that book and I completely I read that read that book and that book become the cause uh, to turn me from material world to spiritual world. And 
I joined in ISKCON Bombay then in 1975. And gradually, uh, whatever I am here now, the, the mercy of Srila Prabhupada, nobody. Because he is, his presence is everywhere within his duties and even his presence in this world. Yeah. He is alive, eternally alive. So I always bow down to him, glorify to him. And he gave me Krishna. And I am very rich to get the Krishna, love and Krishna and Radha. Thank you so much. I can say these words to you. Thank you. Jai Hare Krishna. This very auspicious event is very important. Prabhupada's arrival in Boston, the prayers that Srila Prabhupada wrote coming to Boston Harbor reveal the essence of his mission. And what is the heart of a real Vaishnava? Paramahamsa. So let us all during this very, very wonderful festival pray at the lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada that we can truly be grateful for the mercy he has showered upon us in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.